for Sean. Welcome back guys. I am excited about this one. I've finally scored some fairly decent weather. It's still a little bit choppy and whatnot, but it's really, it's really not that bad compared to what I've been dealing with lately. I've punched it fair way out to a place I've pulled a couple of jewfish off before. I'm gonna have a couple of quick drifts over that. Hopefully get a fish and then I'm going to head back into the back of the three mile there and anchor up. And to be honest, conditions are looking pretty primo. As you can see, it's overcast, it's drizzling. I've got plenty of burly and my hopes are high for a big snapper. So let's sort of spend half an hour to an hour doing this and then go get set up for snapper. All right, I'll see you when we're on the mark. I'm just trying to work out which way the boat's going to drift in that, but that's what I'm using. An Abrolis tackle, deep meat, fresh whiting from the weekend. That hasn't even been frozen yet, so that's going to be absolute dynamite. Um, I've just sort of missed the mark this time, but I might just drop anyway. Have a quick drift, and then I'll try again very shortly. <laughs> Second drift. Fish on. Oh, if I'm not mistaken... This is going to be a good size dewy as well. This is that same mark I found a couple of videos ago. And it was just on last time I was here. And that was literally first drop or second drift. And I'm on. Oh, what is this? Pretty heavy fish. Oh, it's a dewy. You're kidding. Look at him. In you go, buddy. That's a perfect eating fish right there. <laughs> All right. We've been fishing for two minutes. Absolutely stoked. I don't know if I should drift this again. Because if I get another one, I'm bagged out and I'm not going to be able to do the whole snapper thing. Or do I just go anchor up for snapper? I don't know. Let me hold this fish up while I work it out. Exactly what I come to this spot for. I can't believe that. Fifty-five centimeters. Absolute beauty. Well, wow, fish on. I can't believe that just happened. I'm shaking. So I'm using these fresh whiting that I caught. Uh, couple of days ago on the previous episode and sure enough they've come up trumps what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have another couple of drifts over it I'm just making my way back to the mark now as you can see on there that's my drift track so I pretty well follow that and I went back in the same spot it's just starting to rain a little bit now which always makes it exciting Especially out here by yourself. It's only the second time I've fished this spot and it's the third dewy I've pulled off it. So there's obviously something there. It really doesn't show much on my sounder though. All right, we're just sort of coming up to it again now. Got another fresh whiting ready to go. Um. Oops. Let's go. Straight down. It's 27 meters deep here. Seeing some pretty good things on the sounder right now. Let's see if they're what we're after. All right, I'm on the bottom. Come on. They got the heart racing. All right, I'll check out my rig. I don't know what happened there, whether I just pulled hooks or not. Far out. That had some serious weight. Oh no. 
Cold hogs. All right, I'll try again. Go back over it. Man, that was a slob, eh? That was a big fish. Very big fish. All right. Man, look how grey the sky is. It's absolutely about to bucket down. Smoked, let's try again. This is bloody exciting. It's not the usual fishing I do, so to actually begin fish is incredible. Something just grabbed it then. Come on. I don't know if I just got baited then or not. Nah, something just touched it again. Yep. Yes! Oh man! Trying to get him off the bottom. Oh my god, another really solid fish. Yeah, another Dewey. Perfect eating size again. Far out. 15 minute bag out. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Probably exactly the size of the last one. There he is. He's no monster, but he is the ultimate table fish right there. That's two jewfish. I oh, sort myself out and I'm gonna punch it in. I don't know whether I should target some really shallow snapper for catch and release. Just cause I know the weather's right for it and there's a good chance I'd get a good one. Or if I go squidding, give me a moment while I sort myself out and work out a game plan and we'll go from there. Well, as you've just seen, I've just bagged out on Perth's favourite table fish. I kid you not, I've not even been on the water for one hour and now I really don't know what I should do because I could just go home. I'm really considering going for a squid though. Two very tasty mamas. I am absolutely wrapped. <laughs> I don't know what to do now because my plan was to do a sunset snapper session, but I don't know. It kind of feels weird when you've already got your um, bag limit on board just to even target them for catch and release right on the beach. So I'm sort of scratching my head. I don't know what to do. I might, I might go try squid for a little bit or just head in. I don't know. I'm going to head in a bit anyway, and I'm going to have a think about what I should do with myself. I'll see you when I make a game plan. The slayer that rig. The absolute slayer. How cool. Just come across a pot of dolphins. Work it.
Oh, some afternoons are just better than others, aren't they? Hey, where's all the snapper? Where's the snapper? <laughs> you can't eat my GoPro. Cool, like his friends are actually waiting for him. Come here, come here, I wanna pet ya. Pat? Pat? Come on. Alright, I'm gonna go now. See ya, mate. Now I'm going to have to race away from these guys as quick as I can because I think he's probably going to try follow me. <laughs> I'm going. See you, buddy. Go find your mates. They've just got to be the coolest creatures ever. Let's keep trekking to the beach. So I've decided to leave the snapper alone. It just feels a bit funny when you've already got two fish in your box. Even though I'm only planning on catching and releasing, it just, I don't know, feels a bit weird. Anyway, I'm right in close to the beach, so as soon as it starts to get dark, I can bail. Have another crack at some squid, which I seem to be absolutely terrible at, but we'll give it a go. I've given the squid another half an hour of my time. I suck at squid fishing. I don't know if it's me or a location thing. Whatever it is, I can't seem to get them. As you can see, it's about to get dark now. I've got those two jewfish in the tank. Sadly, I couldn't catch any squid, but I don't really care. I've got two jewfish. Got to see those dolphins. Um, a feed of squid would have absolutely topped it off, but who cares? Couldn't get them. I'm not too fast. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna punch in now. I headed out, had a couple of drops, caught two fish, come in. Couldn't catch a squid. And I might as well go in while it's still light. There's no point mucking around in the dark. Um, yeah, only a short one, but if you like this one, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Any questions, hit us up. Any ideas, let me know. Um, and yeah, otherwise, I'll see you on the next one. Full speed to the ramp. Let's go. Absolutely magic. Man, I love this stuff.